G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. Hope you've had a lovely week as well. It's Friday here in Australia and I'm back home again now from my local food pantry, the one that I go to most Fridays. Uh, if you're new to my videos, we're a family of four that live in Queensland, Australia. And on Fridays, we've been going along to a church run food pantry. It's one where you pay $10 and they give you a box of grocery items. And along with the grocery items, most weeks you get given some sort of frozen or cold meals. Uh, there's things like eggs, a loaf of bread most times, and usually some sort of fruit and veggies, depending on what's in season. There's a few different things in this week's lot of groceries and fruit and veggies. A couple of different things that I've never received before. Uh, first of all, I'll show you what I got in the grocery box. I got a packet of spaghetti. And there's also a packet of spiral spaghetti as well. And we got given some barbecue flavored rice crackers, which look really good. And this week we've got another packet of these mini rice cakes, pizza flavored. These ones are really yummy. And look at that, we've got some more butter chicken recipe base. How cool is that? And this week we've got two packets of the chicken style or chicken oriental style actually if I can read properly <laughs> instant noodles they're a chicken flavor one they're quite nice actually so there's two of those and I did also get given one of the instant cup chicken noodle ones as well and there was this week some real stock, some flavor boost. This is a red wine, tomato and basil one. So that'll be interesting. I'm thinking maybe I can add that to some sort of pasta recipe perhaps. I don't know, let me know your ideas. What would that go good with? Uh, there's a few different canned items as well. There's some baked beans, some of these sweet corns, <laughs> some Italian diced tomatoes and some mixed vegetables, peas, carrots and corns again. <laughs> and this week we've got some bolognese sauce again. These ones are always really handy. Chunky tomato, garlic and herbs. Oh, and hidden down here nearly forgot is some cream wafers again this week we've got some chocolate flavored ones i think personally the chocolate ones are the nicest out of there was vanilla ones we've had another week and strawberry ones but the pick of them i think is the chocolate i believe these are an aldi brand so anybody who shops at aldi you might be able to, you might be able to confirm that for me but i think the chocolate ones yeah they're definitely the yummiest and we did also get given some eggs. Now, the eggs are from Happy Backyard Chickens that a uh, lady donates to the food pantry in my local area. So how awesome is that? It's a mixture of sizes with the eggs. There's like giant ones and little tiny bantam eggs as well. All really uh, useful though for cooking and meals. So awesome to get. And this week we got two almond milks. Now these are one litre ones. And we got a box of wheat bix this week, which is fantastic. So that'll probably only last maybe two or three breakfasts in our house. So <laughs> the rest of the time, quite often we've been using some of that fruit bread I've been getting on um, Tuesdays or Thursdays. For breakfast, we have fruit toast once we run out of the cereal. So wheat bix is good though, because it fills everybody up. I like getting wheat bix. Uh, there was a loaf of bread as well. We've got a high fiber, smooth wholemeal sandwich loaf, which looks pretty good. Oh, down here hidden as well is a little jar of Vegemite, which is fantastic. 
and we got three ready meals today which is really helpful as well there's two asian style chicken and rice which look a little bit like that they've got stuff in them like i'll show you the ingredients chicken lemongrass carrot cabbage capsicum coriander soy sauce sweet soy sauce cornstarch i suppose that's the thickening agent water ginger garlic salt turmeric and steam rice with the butter so that sounds pretty good so there's two of those and then there's another savory mince and mashed potato one as well which looks a bit like that <laughs> and that's the ingredients there so beef mince onions I won't read it all out this time but you get the idea they're nice little meals so that was great to get those and I nearly forgot to show you all this week we actually got given some toothpaste how cool is that we don't very often get things like that so yeah that's a big help to get some toothpaste everything seems to be so expensive from the supermarket at the moment so getting some toiletries included is really welcome and today we also got given some pies and sausage rolls these ones are from a local bakery in the area that donates so there's a, a smaller sausage roll and a pie in this bag and there's a big long sausage roll and another these are usually meat pies sometimes there's chicken ones but um yeah most times they're meat pies it's a bit of a mystery you don't know till you heat them up and cook them and take a bite what they are <laughs> it's a bit a bit like everything that we get given it's always a surprise kind of makes it fun though sometimes i think in the fruit and veggies this week as well we got three onions uh, two sweet potatoes there's a nice little wedge of Kent pumpkin. And we also got given this week, uh, there's five nice washed potatoes and some more carrots, which is great because I don't think we got carrots last week. So three carrots. Mandarins are in season at the moment, so we got quite a few of those. There's, what's that, about seven mandarins. Uh, there's four little well they're not that little <laughs> four pink lady apples uh, three little tomatoes and there's quite a few ladyfinger bananas these ones are delicious so there's six of those there is actually a local fruit farm that donates to the food pantry which is really awesome and it's such a nice thing uh, and this week last but not least have a look at this exotic looking fruit here do you know what it is we got given a couple of these today it's what they call a black sapote or a chocolate pudding fruit you might have heard and they do actually taste believe it or not like chocolate pudding these ones are extremely ripe and they nearly got busted on the car ride home so i had to just put them on a saucer you can actually see the filling the inside of the fruit there I might actually cut it open to give you a closer look and here's what it looks like on the inside hopefully you can see it's um, very soft and ripe you do have to leave them ripen up quite a bit before you can eat them but when they're ripe so I've got a little spoon here just to show you they get so soft and it's literally like chocolate pudding so that's a, a black sapote or a chocolate pudding fruit so pretty exotic and yeah absolutely delicious and it tastes pretty much like chocolate pudding it's incredible so it was so lovely to be given a couple of those it will be such a treat so yeah something a bit different so yes this is everything now i got for ten dollars this friday from my local food pantry and it'll be a big help to us throughout the week 
will really make a difference with uh, the meals and even things like the snacks. My kids are on school holidays as of this afternoon for two weeks. Uh, they're on September holidays, so it's really helpful to get things like the little snack items there and even just all the fruit for afternoon teas or morning teas. It's all a, a big help, really. If you're needing a help at the moment as well to put food on your table and to feed uh, your family, don't feel embarrassed or ashamed to go along to a food bank or food pantry where you are. There is links I've left down below in my description box if you need a place to start. You can actually put in a postcode or a zip code and hopefully find something close by to you. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I've got some exciting video ideas up my sleeve. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get round to filming it over the school holidays. It, at least one of the fun things I've got planned. So stay tuned. And I hope you have a lovely weekend, everybody. And until next time, take care.